Welcome to the Square Off TV with Billy News, a.k.a. Billy Bats. I was just watching my man, Jesse, on fire, and he was talking about a guy who writes for Bloody Elbow wanting Joe Rogan to be fired. And in the middle of Jesse's video, I had to stop and actually, I was like, I can't, I have to do a video on this. You know, I, I'm not trying to be a copycat, but... I'm in this, um, this is something I would do a video on. So anyways, without further ado, um, in my personal opinion, you cannot say UFC without Joe Rogan's name. You cannot, I mean, obviously they have UFC events where he ain't there because he does have a $100 million Spotify deal. But without hit, I love when someone gets dramatically knocked out and he's just loses his mind. That's what that's what you call love for the sport. That's what you call passion. That's what you call just any one of us in this community who talks about MMA or boxing who's. If we were doing commentary and we seen someone get knocked the fuck out, I know for a fact I would do the same thing because I love these sports. I love them. Other than hockey, they're my favorite sports ever. And I couldn't believe they got rid of Joe, uh, Mike Goldberg. I thought him and uh, Joe Rogan were a amazing team, but I've gotten over that over time. But the UFC not ho having Joe Rogan on commentary or in the ring after the fights and in interviewing the fighters, it just wouldn't seem right to me, in my opinion. It just wouldn't seem right. He's been there. Practically since day one. Since Dana left Southie right here in this home t in this little Irish Catholic neighborhood. When Dana left here to go to Las Vegas and did his thing and came up and bought hat and him him and, and became the president of the UFC. When the Fatita brothers bought it, Joe Rogan was on commentary and doing interviews. So, like, in my opinion, it just wouldn't be right without Joe Rogan being there. It really wouldn't. And not to mention, he's a legit badass. He will kick your... F he was teaching George St. Pierre... How to do spinning, spinning back kicks. And his spinning back kick is fucking vicious. It is vicious. He had that bag almost off the friggin' ceiling or whatever it was connected to. He had George St. Pierre in awe. And this was the champ middle, the welterweight, the, the best welterweight champion of all time with his mouth like. How did you do that? I don't know how to do a French accent. I'm sorry. But, like, he's a legit black belt under Eddie Bravo. He can break every bone in your body 18 different ways. It wouldn't be right without having Joe Rogan at the UFC. I couldn't picture him at Bellator. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Um... I mean, uh, I wish they would bring Mike Goldberg back. To be honest with you, I don't. I don't. I really don't even know the um, whole story that what happened with that. But if um, if they brought him back, it would be I like I would feel right at home again. But um, John Anik does a great job with Joe in DC. Um, Dominic Cruz does an amazing job. 
because these are guys who know what they're talking about. They've been in the octagon, not John Anik and Joe, per se, but the, um, t uh, Tim Felder, he does a great job too. But Dominic Cruz in D.C. do an amazing job with Joe Rogan. And uh, John Anik too, he, he gets fired up. You can tell he loves this sport. Um, I just... I couldn't picture the UFC without Joe Rogan. And that's coming from Billy Batts himself in the Square Off TV. This guy at Bloody Elbow is like, one, you're hating on him. Two, you're hating on him. Three, you're being a dickhead by asking for him to be fired. And that's in my opinion. So... You need to stick to what the fuck you know is writing stories and not trying to get people fired. Because what my father taught me this years ago, you never come in the way of some, a man earning a living. You never come in the way of another man supporting his family. And obviously this man, if you want to call him that, Never got taught that. Because maybe he thinks he can do the job better than Joe Rogan. I fucking doubt it. So you need to go back down to your basement with the one light bulb and stick to writing stories and keep your nose out of business that don't belong to you. That's what you should do right off from Bloody Elbow. Jesse had his um, full name, but I... I'm not fucking mentioning it on, on my platform. Actually, he's the next next contestant on Boo the Haters Productions. Boo! Boo! Fuck you for trying to get another man fired for you being jealous and being a jealous hater. You're a scumbag for that, writer for Bloody Elbow. Until next time, this is Billy Niz with the Square Off TV, and I'm off this. And don't remember, and never, and don't forget, I'm the one who, I'm the first one to say Alexander Usyk was gonna beat Anthony Joshua. Peace.